Hello again, here we'll explore a solution that enable us to add a script tag to HTML of type text slash Python. You see here, we have here a script tag where we will write our Python code. That's why it is in browser, not from browser. And it is called Britain. Long story short, Britain transpiles Python into JavaScript. In other words, it translates everything inside a script text slash python into javascript we will start by doing a basic document object model manipulation then we will import our own python scripts and finally we will interact with already existing javascript code okay the first thing that we need to do is set up the environment. We go to this website and go to the download page. A GitHub page opens and we go down here and we want to download the Britain zip. Click here, download successfully. We go to the download folder, extract, and we can open these. We have here the JS. We copy these and go to the folder where we have our our HTML we paste here and now we can go to Visual Studio Code and we will paste here in a script tag JavaScript we will import these two libraries the first one Britain.js the second one Britain standard lib after this we need to go to the body of our document and add on load that is equals to Britain after this we can start doing our Python code I will paste here a block of code where we have here a script of type text Python. Okay, let's do the first exercise a little bit of context. We go to the browser and this is just this, this supercomputer. Okay, and the first thing that we will do is turn the computer on. We have here a button. Okay, and we want to click on the button and turn the computer on. So we go to the code and first thing of all, we need to import the document so from browser import document then we need to add an action to the button we define a function that is called turn on computer it will receive an event and it will do some stuff here we will do the rest of this function later okay now we want to get the button and assign to on click event the function turn on computer we go up to the HTML and here in the body we expand these and we have here a button on off button okay so this is the one we go down and here we type document get the element on off button dot bind on event click the function turn on computer now we need to add some actions to this function okay let's go up to the document and here in the body we have here image pc off dot png and we have here the box that is hidden so we will change this pc off to be PC on and the hidden we want to remove this class from these elements okay we go down again to the code and here in the function we type document get the element with the ID PC set the source of this element to be PC on dot PNG then document get the element with the ID box get the class list of this element remove the class that is called hidden now we can see if this is working refresh this click on the button and now we have the computer on okay so the next step is making this work this will cipher something that we write here and decipher that it will use auto key cipher we go here to visual studio code and i have already here the code for auto key cipher that i made in Python, we will import this.
and we start by importing AutoKey Cipher, okay? From AutoKey Cipher, import everything, okay? Then I will copy and paste here the code, and this code is very simple, okay? We are just getting the button for decipher and binding on click the function decipher text. This function decipher text will get the text from the decipher input, will get the keyword from the keyword input, and also it will generate a tabla reta. This function comes from AutoKey Cipher, okay? Then it will call the function decipher that comes also from AutoKey Cipher and will pass the text, the tabla reta, and the keyword. It will return the decipher text and it will assign that text to message input. Okay, for cipher is similar but for different fields. Okay, now we can test this. We have two options here. The first one is import autokeycipher.py directly. The second one is generate autokeycipher.js. For the first solution, we need to launch a web server and for that we need to type in the PowerShell terminal python minus m http.server and a port. In this case is 8001. Then, instead of accessing the file directly, we need to type in the browser localhost 8001 slash index.html. For the second solution, we need to install Britain and then we need to type in the terminal pi minus minus m Britain minus minus make underscore package and the name of the package, in this case is autokey cipher. Remember, your Python codes must be in the same folder where you you run this command. Then we need to add a script tag in our HTML where we include the generated file. Since we will use the Python file, not generate a JavaScript file, we need to launch a web server. We open the terminal and we need to type python minus m http dot server and we type the port 8001. Hit enter and our server is running. Now we can go to the web browser and instead of accessing the file we need to change here the path to be local host 8001 slash index dot html we hit enter and we turn on the computer, we put here a keyword, all tech, we put a cipher text, text to cipher and we click on this button to cipher the text and we got the cipher text, we copy this, we put here to decipher and we decipher this and we got here the original message, text to cipher. And now let's do the final exercise that is activating this button that will clear all the inputs. Okay, so we go back to Visual Studio Code and here use JavaScript objects to clear fields because we already have JavaScript functions to do the job. So we go here and we need from browser to import window. Then we need to define a function that will be executed on click. So def exec js func that will receive a event and it will do something. So at this time we need a button to click and a function to call. Okay, we go up and and we have in the HTML we have here in the box a clear div and a clear button. Also before the Python script we have a JavaScript. Okay, here we have the function clear fields. So we will call this function on button click. We go again to our code and we type document get the element with the ID clear button bind on click the function exec js function. Okay, inside the exec js function we call window dot clear fields. Okay, is just this, we save the document, we go again to our browser, refresh this, turn on the computer and write here something, here something and clear and everything is working. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, it will help me. Don't forget that you can download the source code, the link is in the description of this video and as always, thank you for watching.